Hi everyone, welcome back to The Middlemen. We are playing Bjorg. Bjorg! I am joined by Matthew and Tom, and this is Adam Young. Hello, Bjorg! Tom, Hello. we're playing Bjorg. We are playing Bjorg, except I can't see it. Because okay, so we can't we figure out how to screen share it. Okay, you're allowed to be blind. Blind yes. ball, man. Okay, which character do you want to play? I bet you want to play the orange guy. He looks like a dapper brown gentleman. A dapper young gentleman. Was that, was that directed at me? Yes, you told us. Well, I'm not brown. I'm as white as the driven snow. Okay. Um, so maybe the power of the lady, the blue one. Sure, about. I'll be the blue lady. She is very pale. Okay, I am going to be the big lumberjack guy at the bottom. And I am going to be that lovely young man at the top. Good choice. So I just press enter to start. Yep. Adam's Everyone played this game before, and Tom has played this game before. I'm very new to this. Yeah. Have you not played this? Uh, I played it briefly with Adam, but it was uh, a very long time ago. I don't remember very well. Yeah. All right. Oh, oh. So, the Yule will be here in six weeks, and no one expects it. Not a one of us. We just keep on living our lives week by week, unaware. Ominous. Yeah, the Yule is something we don't know what it is, but it's going to happen, it's going to suck. That's the feeling I'm getting. No one's right. expecting it. So, the first one to pick is a blue lady. Oh. So, blue. So, yes, as I recall, there are various activities I can partake in throughout the town. Yes. Uh, I'm going to go get shit-faced. All right, All right, done. Tavern? Yes. Do I just hit enter? Yes. Okay, so you can bartend or drink. You said you want to get shit-faced? Yeah. Yes. You're going to drink? Yes. You spend the entire week getting wasted? <laughs> Sounds about accurate. You gain two yes. charm and one physique. Excellent. Drinking day, is very healthy for you. Tavern throws this annual dart tournament. Do you want to enter or spectate? I will spectate. Let's see. You watch the tournament from the sidelines analyzing throwing techniques. Yeah. You gain one finesse. Yeah. Run. I wonder what happened if you hadn't entered. Maybe you would have got a dart to your eye or something. Maybe. You That's mean, generally what happens. Yeah, I think if you have a skill for it and you do it, then you're going to fail and everyone will laugh at you. You gain one coolness. They're all going to laugh at you. Alright. So, Mr. Me. Big Boy, where do you want to go? Uh, I think with sideburns like that, I've kind of got to go to the gardens and pray. Can you pray at the gardens? Uh, you can meditate. Meditate or landscape? I'm going to be a landscaper. Oh man, look at that lovely... Spend the week maintaining the plants in the rural garden. Oh, it's a nice elephant. It doesn't mention you getting employed to do that. No, it, it doesn't. Just... <laughs> That's a very good point, actually. I'm doing it pro bono. Okay, one fitness, one finesse, one physique, and earn yourself one wealth. One day a toothless old woman approaches you, have a small pouch of magic beans, would you be interested in purchasing them? Yes, I would. Of course I would. You spend one wealth on the beans, worth every penny. Later you decide to plant them in a small, rarely visited part of the garden. Alright, now... This sounds like a scam. You just spent all of your income on the... Beans, Tom, think of the returns. <laughs> Now I feel, as the dapper young man I am, I should go to the palace. The palace? Yeah. I'll put you there. I am going to attend the ball. You're going to do administration You accidentally work? step on a bean plant. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I look so fancy. I spend the week attending fancy gatherings. Again, two charm and one finesse. Ooh. One day the king approaches me. Excuse me, but you look like there's someone who I can confide in, he says. I wonder what gives him that impression. Look at me, look how fabulous I look. Look at my dick. I really want a prince to take over the throne, but the queen and I aren't exactly active in the bedroom. Uh oh. He blushes Jeez. a little. She just lays blush. Like Everyone is blue. Why are you the only coloured person in the room? They're all in the background. They don't know. They're, they're just background people. So, I mean, how would the king blush if he's all blue? Do you have any advice on how I could romance the queen? So, man, man I am so versed in this, I'm going to teach him my ways. Okay. Spent hours drawing a bunch of diagrams and going through <laughs> scenarios with the king. Ah, uh, the old Adam Sutra. <laughs> By the end of it, he's just as charming as I am, which he actually right now isn't very charming. <laughs> he thanks me and hands me a large sack of coins. Hell yeah. I should buy some beans. I gain three wealth. Woo! You should definitely Jesus. buy beans. Later that night, I get the sinking feeling that I might have made things worse. I don't care. I have money. Yeah, so, last so I gained a bunch of skills, Adam gained a bunch of wealth, and Matt planted a 
beans. I'm getting a bunch of beans. Why, why are you saying like it's a bad thing? You planted the bean in the royal garden. That's it's not yours beans. anymore. It is my beans. They say the last time it came, the York devoured houses whole, stole lives, tore families and family members apart. But that was so very long. Alright, Tom, where do you want to go? Yeah, uh, this week I'm going to go to the tavern. The tavern? Yeah. 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 What are you going to do there? I'm going to get shit-faced. Okay. That's <laughs> on you. You spend the entire week getting wasted. You gain two charm and one physique. Yes! One day a bard pulls out his lute in the bar and starts playing a tune. Unfortunately, singing is horrible and is ruining the tavern's atmosphere. You no. decide to do something about it. You should sing along. Challenge him to a lute duel. What are the options? <laughs> Convince him to leave or challenge him to a loot duel. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'll challenge him to a loot duel. Oh, you are, you are drunk when you're in this. I have no idea if I can play the loot. But... You borrow the bar owner's loot. Why did he have a loot? And challenge the bar to a musical duel. Mm -hmm. You play out a beautifully complex combination of arpeggio arpeggios? Arpeggio. Yes, thank you. No the tavern roars with applause. Whoa. Bard tries his best to replicate your piece, but ends up dropping his loot, snapping it in half. <laughs> he bows his head shamefully in defeat and walks out of the tavern. You are a badass. God damn. And then we ritualistically execute him. <laughs> you gain one finesse and one charm, and not one execute. You have ten charm right now, Dom. Three charm. Ten charm? Is that like the maximum? No, no, there is a maximum. I wonder if uh, I should go to the gardens and my beans will pop up again. I'm going to try it. I think I'm basically Marjorie Tyrell. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> she's like the charmingest woman ever. And she's got rad tits. <clears throat> anyway. You gain one finesse, one physique, and earn yourself one wealth. Maybe I can buy more beans. I come across an elderly man snoozing on the grass. You there, young person. He waves you over. Not that young. In this picture. I'm having an awful time trying to nap in the bright sun. Do you mind giving me some shade? He wants me to stand there? Go on. It sounds like the stupidest thing ever. Block the sun from doing, man. Be a nice person. Age you see the past and you stand in the hot sun and advise the old man sleeping peacefully in your shadow. In my arms. The sun is sweltering and after some hours you begin to feel faint. Gradually everything goes dark. Oh boy. When you awake this evening in the dark, you don't have any pants. No. And an ancient gnarled tree stands where the old man was sleeping. There's a mysterious scar by your kidney. <laughs> <laughs> For witnessing this miraculous event, you gain one magic. Alright. Now, I... I'm actually going to go to the hospital. I want to look after some poor people. Ten patients. Adam, yeah, so noble. So ten giving. Ten patients. Spend the entire week diagnosing and tending to the sick. Again, two mind and earn one wealth. One day in, in the maternity ward, you notice women about to give birth. Baby should birth is no ordinary baby, however. Oh, God. The skin is pitch black and shiny. His eyes glow like an orange flame. Oh, God. Oh, just like you, Adam. It wrestles itself free from Doctor's hands and tries to fly away. What? Stop it that wings. demon, yells Doctor. Um, okay, I can use game, my did, uh, five Adam, strength or five magic. didn't tell me that you magic. were a cameo in this game. I, I am no going idea. to use my strength. He, he uh, did have a cameo, that's right. He is actually the demon baby. <laughs> Put myself between the demon and the exit. The baby demon barrels past me in, out the door and flying off into the night sky. This could be nothing but good. Yeah, that sounds great. It was honest Adam and heartbeat. Or so the story goes. The earth shook, the air went still. Alrighty, Tom. You can go to the forest, the arena, the alchemy tower, gardens, palace, tavern, hospital, or slums. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I realise, as we said before, I can't see the screen. But I'm aware of the options. I've played this game to completion, I believe. Was it once or twice that we played it, Adam? I think twice. So you should yeah, go think... to the slums? Yeah, well, I mean, I'm just weighing my options. Uh, take me to the tavern and, and get me shit-faced. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Spend the entire week getting wasted. You gain two charm and one physique. <laughs> one day, while in the tavern, a heated argument erupts between two patients. Oh. Patrons, not patients. Patrons. Yeah. Soon enough, fists are flying and everybody seems to be joining in on the violence. Join the fray or break up the fight? Uh, hmm. I will attempt to use my immense charm to break up the fight. Alrighty. You jump on top of a table and yell a plea to the patrons to stop all the violence. Before you know it, everybody has calmed down and chatted to one another like nothing's ever happened. Wow, look at you go. <laughs> Thanks for that, says the bartender, while slipping you a small sack of coins. You should buy beans. You gain one wealth. 
I think I might buy anything except beans. Why not? What's wrong with beans? Nothing's wrong with beans, Matt, but I think we already have the beans, right? We want to we want to diversify our <laughs> our root vegetable but portfolio. But I don't have much going on, do I? Physique, fitness, mind, charm, magic, wealth. Where's a good place to go? Well, you could go look at your bean. Well, I tried that in the garden, but I just met an old man. And had I mean, the arena could be fun. You could definitely work oh, out. Shadow. Oh. Really, arena. Compete in a fight or better in a fight. Compete. Compete. You spend the week fighting Bruce in the arena. You gain two physique and one finesse. Surprise. Oh, cool. One day in the middle of a match, a small baby with jet black skin and glowing eyes in the center of the arena. Oh. I'm not going to lie to you. That was going to happen. Fire erupts from his eyes. Both That's in right. The you, with one of the we fighters. did that before, Adam. You knew that was going to happen. The baby then shapes it into a, slowly into a gargantuan horned demon. Thanks for warning me, dick. Before I go on a murderous rampage, I... will anybody dare challenge me to a duel? I've got this. I'm going to challenge him. Well, look at what we have here, the demon says, responding to you stepping forward. You pull out your weapon, ready for combat. The demon tilts his head forward and charges. You run full speed at the charging demon with your weapon raised above your head. Weapon. The demon ducks under your weapon and hits you with a force so hard that you black. You dream of the world crumbling to your feet around you. When you come to, you wake up in your home with a message carved into your chest. You've got guts, challenger. I respect that. Why wouldn't you write a smaller message? He's carving it into my chest. <laughs> Sincerely, demon, demon. I've given you a small blessing so that you remember to not challenge a demon in the future. He would carve that in my chest yeah, as well. Yeah, he, he carved the entire message into your chest. <laughs> Fuck me, why didn't he fucking carve War and Peace in there as well? You feel wiser. You gave one mind. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> the arena is destroyed forever. <laughs> um, okay, Someone what have I got? destroyed the arena. Okay, well the arena's gone, so... My bad. Yep. I've got... Well, kind of your bad, actually. Well, no, I mean, I didn't know that the Eva Bay was going to be released in the hospital, but I did know he'd go to the arena the next turn. Guys, let's not fight. As long as the tavern is still there, it's all going to be okay. Oh, man, I want to destroy um, the tavern. I've got seven mind and seven charm. <laughs> you can fucking try. It is defended, <laughs> motherfucker. Uh, actually, I'm going to go to the forest. You know the forest? Yeah. If you see a beanstalk, fucking hands off. I want to hunt. Huh? Spend the week hunting defenseless critters. Well, that's a hard way of putting it. But I gain two finesse and sell their pelts for one wealth. One day, I stumble upon a tall, nicely trimmed hedge in the middle of the woods. This is uh, sauce. I sit and eat my lunch. I would not do that! Okay, well, I sit and eat my lunch in front of the hedge, wondering what is up here. What, what is it doing out in the woods? Suddenly, an enormous hand erupts from the foliage. Oh. Okay. Um, Don't you to punch it. Dodge it. Punch it, Chewie. Dodge it. Your reflexes allow you to duck just out of his grasp. Cool. You run faster than I ever, ever had in my life. Gain two physique. You. Yeah. Oh, well, that was going to be the physique. I guess that's not going to happen anymore. Well, I'm not going to around and everything, so I'm pretty good. And the world that was, was a, a That was theory. a strange scenario. It was. Just a hand in a hedge. Chaos screaming. The sound of all we knew being pulled in half. Sounds ominous. 